Back to our second lesson on linear beats. This is 8B, and this beat, um, unlike our first pattern, is technically linear and interestingly sounds a little less linear than most beats, I think, and that is due to the fact that your right hand will be playing a nice steady pattern. And as a matter of fact, if you listen carefully, you'll, you'll hear the snare on two and four and the bass drum on one and three and a few extra beats. So, uh, and this, this, this beat makes for a good dual lesson if you've never done some offbeat stuff with your right hand, I'll simplify this beat to make it more of a beginner beat and then the full beat will be the more advanced beat. So let's get to it. Go take a look at that. Okay, so you've just heard the beat, and my goal here is twofold, both to teach you the beat itself, but also to teach you how to read these beats so that you can figure out more beats on your own as you find them in books and magazines. So let's let's get some reference points here first. Our hi-hat or cymbal line up here. Here's the downbeat on one on your bass drum. So find your anchor points. Find one, two, three, and four. So here's one, there's two on the snare, there's three on the bass, there's four on the snare. So they're all there. They won't always be, but they are in this beat. And then on your upbeats, one and, two and, three and, four and. So we'll just be doing our one and, two and, three and, four and right there. And then a lot of times you'll look for these 16th note patterns. And you'll see we've got two. There's the 16th notes missing here. And, uh, and then three, e, and, and then the missing 16th note here, then four, e, and. Okay, so you end up with these four 16ths in a row. On, starting on the last 16th note of the, the two beat, so two E and a uh, three E and. And that's probably, if you were figuring this beat out without having heard it, would have been the trickiest part of this beat was just to come up with what this pattern was gonna sound like. So you know what you've got is one and, two E and a uh, three E and, pause, four E and. Okay, again, one and, two and, uh, three E and uh, four E and. All right, so that's the beat. Look for the patterns you can build out of one or more sound surface to find out what the overall rhythmic feel of the beat is gonna be. All right, let's talk about the beginner version of this beat first. You're just gonna do these up beats, one and two and three and four and. With your right hand, I'm gonna do them on the cymbal for now. And you're gonna do one and two and three on your bass drum and two and four here. So let's start out reasonably slow. So one and two and three and four and one and three. So if you've never done a beat like that, you wanna practice that till it's real comfortable and you wanna just bring that up to speed. Just just so that, that that off beat with your right hand starts to feel a little bit more automatic, so. Once you've got that, you're gonna slow back down and then you wanna get that 16th note foot pattern in there. Don't play this so fast that you have to struggle with getting that foot pattern in there. Um, if you play it real slow, it's a little hard to groove, but it's better that than to be fighting with your foot until you, until you get the strength in your foot and the speed in your foot to play this. Um, okay, so let's start maybe uh, around 90. So, one, two, three, four. So once you have that, then you want to add your left foot on all four. So that's going to be back to our moderate tempo. Two, three, four. Uh, 
I, and I know it's not linear, but adding that foot is just an extra coordination thing <coughs> right on those downbeats, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so then you can have some fun with the beats. practice those at a variety of tempos, use your metronome if you have one, and uh, we'll see you next time.